My favorite thing about fragrances is how it captures time with memory. You know, you kind of captured the essence of why I love fragrances and especially classic fragrances. And sorry, this is a non sequitur, but look at my cat sleeping. Isn't she adorable? I digress, but you kind of hit the nail on the head when it comes to my love for fragrances. I believe that each fragrance kind of captures the essence and the ideals of a certain time. And I made a video about this before, but I think it's worth repeating. And I'll give a few obvious examples. The first one is Chalimar by Guerlain, which was launched in 1925 um, at the Decorative, Decorative Arts Fair in Paris. So where, you know, Art Deco was coined. And if you look at the bottle design, um, you know, like the original one was kind of looked very similar. Um, the bottle is very Art Deco. And if we're talking about the juice, uh, people back in the days were interested, starting to get interested in more, you know, exotic notes. Um, not the greatest term, but um, that's what they were interested in. And um, um, you know, this is the first Oriental. Uh, we now call them ambers um, because it's a better term. But yeah, they were more interested in, in spices. And, you know, uh, the concept of traveling was very, um, you know, very, very much in. Uh, then there's Je Reviens um, by Worth in 1932. If you look at the bottle design, again, we're kind of reminiscent of uh, Art Deco. The um, Hold on, let me pull something. It looked like this. So obviously for both... And this was by uh, designed by uh, Lalique, and it was inspired by um, you know Manhattan skyscrapers. And if we come back to the name, and even like this bottle also looks like a skyscraper, and the name Je Reviens uh, means I will come back. So a time of war. The juice itself is reminiscent of uh, you know the uh, um, introduction of aldehydes uh, back in the twenties, and uh, yeah. And here's another obvious example from the mid-90s uh, with Ludzi by Isemayaki. If you look at the bottle design, it's very, very minimalistic. And during the 90s, we were looking for simplicity, um, kind of in reaction of the 80s, the extravagances of the 80s. If we were talking about the juice, same thing. Um, it was inspired by the idea of uh, water. And it uses a molecule um, called calone that also uh, has a very watery, melon-like uh, feeling. And and our quality. And also in the 90s, I was there, we, we saw in North America an interest in all things that were Japanese in design. Uh, we saw it in clothing stores and we saw it also in um, lifestyle. So this perfume made a lot of sense and was a big hit in North America. So yes, you're absolutely right and thank you so much for your comment.